take a look at this graph of a degree 6 function. The equation for the function is as follows. y equals x to the 6 minus 7x to the 5 plus 5x to the 4 plus 35x cubed minus 10x squared minus 64x minus 32. In factored form, it looks like this. You'll see why I've written the exponent of 1 on the factor x minus 2 shortly. Here are the roots corresponding to these factors. Now I want you to closely examine the roots on the graph. Notice how the plot behaves differently around each root? This has to do with a term known as multiplicity. Multiplicity refers to the number of times a factor and its corresponding root are repeated. In this example, the factor x plus 1 is repeated three times, so we say that the corresponding root at x equals negative 1 has a multiplicity of 3. The factor x minus 2 appears only once, so we say that the corresponding root at x equals 2 has a multiplicity of 1. Finally, the factor x minus 4 is repeated twice, so we say that the corresponding root at x equals 4 has a multiplicity of 2. As we observed earlier, the multiplicity of a root affects how the graph behaves around that root. Notice that at the roots of odd multiplicities, x equals negative 1 and x equals 2, the plot crosses through the x-axis. At the root of even multiplicity, x equals 4, the plot is tangent to the x-axis. It appears to bounce off the axis and doesn't cross over. These observations generalize. At roots of odd multiplicities, the plot will cross over the x-axis. At roots of even multiplicities, the plot will bounce off the x-axis, becoming tangent to the axis but never crossing over. Note that at the root of higher odd multiplicity, x equals negative 1, which has multiplicity 3, the graph flattens out before crossing the x-axis. This trend continues with higher multiplicities, both even and odd. As the multiplicity of a root increases, the plot at that root will appear to flatten out more. Another concept related to multiplicity is that for functions with only real roots, the multiplicities of all the roots must add up to the degree of the polynomial. For the purpose of this course, you can assume that this rule always applies, since we only deal with real roots. Let's do an example. Determine the roots and their corresponding multiplicities for this degree 5 polynomial. By inspection, we see that the first time the plot touches the x-axis is at x equals negative 2. At this root, the plot appears to bounce off the x-axis, which is characteristic of roots of even multiplicities. So we can conclude that this root is of even multiplicity. Also, since we know that the multiplicities of all the roots must add up to the degree of the polynomial, the multiplicity of this root can't be greater than the degree of this polynomial, 5. Since 2 and 4 are the only even numbers less than 5, this root could have a possible multiplicity of 2 or 4. We can't say for sure which one yet, so let's examine the other place where the plot touches the x-axis, at x equals 3. At this root, we see the plot cross over the x-axis, which is characteristic of roots of odd multiplicities. So we can conclude that this root is of odd multiplicity. Again, we know that the multiplicities of all the roots must add up to the degree of the polynomial, so the multiplicity of this root can't be greater than the degree, 5. That means it could have a possible multiplicity of 1, 3, or 5. We can eliminate the multiplicity of 5, since we know the function has another root with multiplicity 2 or 4, and 5 plus 2 or 4 will be greater than the degree, 5. From here, to determine the correct multiplicities, we must observe that the plot appears flat around the root at x equals 3, and recall that as the multiplicity of a root increases, the plot at that root will appear to flatten out more. This suggests that the root at x equals 3 has a multiplicity of 3 instead of 1 which means that the root at x equals negative 2 must have a multiplicity of 2 so that the multiplicities of the roots add up to the degree 5. Okay, that's all for this lesson on multiplicity. Make sure you're comfortable with all the graphable characteristics we've learned so far, because in the next lesson we'll apply that knowledge to sketch the graph of a polynomial from its equation.